position or are they two separate jobs? Funny question. How, can, how could I do that? How could I pick different teams? No, but in terms of thinking about your lives, keeping players fresh for one game, or is, is one task that you have there more important than the other, I guess I'm trying to say? No. Not possible. Not possible. Both very, very important. I said it a few times. I can say it again. It's no problem because it didn't change. Um, we have, um, how I see it, two semis again um, against Chelsea and Brighton. Very important. No, no, no chance to think about anything else. And uh, then after these two games, we have two weeks' time to prepare the other game, which is in three weeks, which would sound already crazy if I would think about that in the moment. And so, no, it's both exactly the same importance, absolutely no difference. Does the momentum of what you're doing, though, and the performances you're getting from your players, does that keep them fresh, or do you have to guard on that? How can you time? keep a player fresh? Well, I suppose mentally and physically. If you played 53 games, which you played this season. I didn't make the schedule, but what... Uh, no, but I wonder you, if you're you cannot that. come here and be completely not prepared. Do different lineups with my with my squad. Do it. And bring it over. So what is what we buy? And we don't have to think about it. The job is to do. We have to do the job. So it's not that we can decide um, about leaving him. If the players cannot play because last game was too intense, and the medical department comes to me and tells me, um, poof, for him it would a break would be better. If, but if I ask this question, what do you think? What they say? Yes, a break would be better for everybody. And then. No, I'm wondering whether if you're winning games and playing well in games, that freshness doesn't become a problem because your players have, have this momentum behind them. That's why I'm, that's why I'm suggesting. Because it seems to be your players progress by the momentum they have. You know, you have good result, good result, good result. And I'm wondering if that makes them want to play football more and think about <laughs> being fresh less. Ah, yes. Uh, four days are okay. Uh, from, from Wednesday to Sunday, it's always, it's always okay. It would be a little bit more difficult, much more difficult if people have to play tomorrow, but so that's what the time will be enough, no, no doubt about that. Uh, the, the, the thing is, and that's it, the, the whole season is a constant challenge, if you want. It's always, um, we really fought hard so far for being in the position we are now in the league, and so that's now we have to finish the job, that's how it is. And yes, of course, it's an advantage for Chelsea not playing during the week, but we had a big Success, even if you lost the game, that's that's how it is. That all at the end, we need to be ready for Chelsea, and it could be really the same intensity like it was at Rome, because it's a similar situation for Chelsea. They need to win, and um, and we want to. <laughs> so um, that's it, and it's clear we can uh, make life easier for us if we if we get a result at Chelsea. That's how it is. But it was always a difficult place, and probably will stay a difficult place in the future. So. Um, we we try everything to be 100% ready for that game. That's it. I'll try and ask a friendly question if I can. Um, Steven Gerrard will be named Glasgow Rangers manager this afternoon. I'm just wondering whether you've spoke to him about the kind of career path that you might see for him and his abilities to do that job. Uh, actually, I, I really don't think I'm, I'm uh, before anybody else could say anything um, official. I don't think that it's like create now headlines or whatever. Um, I really think uh, we should wait until the, the, the decisive persons say something about it and then I'm, I'm ready to give comments. But that's not the moment for that. It's his career and um, whatever he wants to say, he should say in the right moment and not me. But that we were in constant talks, you can imagine. Um, but how is that? Then it's up to him when he wants to say something about it. And afterwards, I can answer each question. Thank you very much. Welcome. Um, I'm about to talk to uh, Loris Carius now, who obviously broke his hand in that. Uh, bear with me on this one. He broke his hand in that game against Chelsea. So, ju just in terms of Loris's progression from that pre season game in Pasadena to where he is now, where he's got four clean sheets in his last six matches, his save rate, his one of the highest in the Premier League as well. How do you see the progression that he's made under you since arriving from where he was when he was disappointed with the break in his hands where he is now full of confidence? Like wow. Question. He liked my question. Wow. <laughs> um, uh, where, where did he broke his hand? In Pasadena? It was, it was, it, was it, I know it was yeah. against Chelsea, but that's uh, the pre-season before the last pre-season. It was summer 2000. 
That's he the broke his hand anyway. Yeah. Could we speak about a broken hand? For, yeah. Or, yes, he progressed a lot. That's why I thought um, <laughs> it makes sense. So. Do you want to do the newspaper? All no, good. All no, good. <laughs> Obviously, we don't have real problems. That, um, 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 yes, I'm really happy with this uh, progress. So, um, and I'm still still a lot to come. I'm sure. Um, having games like yet in the last few weeks, months. Um, helps, nothing helps you more as a goalie. Um, having fantastic moments, having um, rather not that good moments, that, that's all what's part of the of development. But um, he really took the chance, to be honest. That's what, what we gave him a few months ago. And um, yeah, it was a big part of for us of being more stable in, the, in, in that period. So it's cool. I was there's nothing bad about Simon Minulevich, who is both Benny Ward and Simon are really in a, in a good shape, both physical and mentally. So I really, I, they, they push hard, to be honest. And that's that's good. That the situation on the goalkeeper side is, is is a good one in the moment. Um, all fit, all 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 um, hard working. So that's how it should be. But he only plays because of that. And actually, before that. So that makes now. Now I remember. Before he broke his hand, he was he was in outstanding shape already. He was exactly the boy we signed, and after that, obviously, was then a little more difficult. That's that's true. But that's how I said, I said it before that. It was my mistake. I I, I changed too early that time, um, and he was then obviously not ready in that moment. Physically not ready. And um, when a player breaks a leg, you you, you know that that's quite a harsh thing. Goalkeeper is if he breaks his hand, it's similar then obviously, and I underestimated that a little bit, but it's long ago, and so all good. And in terms of the Chelsea match this weekend, we know that if you win, you guarantee that top four finish. So other than the financial reward that we know comes with it, why is it so important to you, to this football club, to its future, to be in those top four positions, which will get you the football as well? Because of the obvious reasons, there is a financial thing. There is a, there's a. You want to be. We, we are strong enough for that competition. We will be next year strong enough. So we want to be there. We want to play the best teams in Europe. That's that's all clear. And um, it's the whole. Everything is is set for for this competition in, in all the leagues. So we play Tuesday or Wednesday, and then afterwards we have a little bit uh, we have a normal. Play usually Saturday or Sunday. Um, when you play European League, you play always Thursday and Sunday. Hopefully, and nobody thinks about playing then on Saturday. So that all is it's it, it's clear. It's a, it's the most it's the biggest com club competition. You want to be part of it. That's why we do it. We want to be as successful as possible. If you cannot be champion, you want to qualify for the Champions League. And we worked really hard the last two years for it, to be honest. And um, so that makes it, um, yeah. Even more valuable for us. We want to have that. That's our championship, if you want. That's what we can, the, the, the highest we can get in the league. And so that's what, what we are working for the whole time. And so now we want to get it. I'm sorry, in terms of the knock on effect as well that it has probably in bringing attracting players and things like that. That's, well. all, that's all clear. It's all clear, but it's the same thing. I, but in, the, in the moment, I'm not sure. Players we talk to, nobody said, but if you. We'll not do it at the end. Well, no, then it was all for nothing what we did here, the, the whole, all the talks. So, but of course, that's all clear. That's all clear. That that's we battle and challenge with the best football clubs in the world. So, and whatever you can do to bring yourself in a better position um, to get these players, you should do. In the moment, we are quite attractive. Um, we pay good wages. We we, we pay obviously. Uh, transfer fee is absolutely okay, so we can go for for a few really good players. So that's all clear. But I can imagine other other teams are interested in them as well. So that's always how it is. And there are a few soft factors and a few harder factors which help the boys to make the right decision. The right decision would be to to join us in the future. So if yeah, no, it's not a if. It's clear. If you are if you are qualified for the Champions League, it's easier to convince specific players, that's clear.
Yeah. And when you talk about the here and now, Jürgen, and the hard work you've got in just to get where you are in with these two games remaining in the Premier League, um, with that pressure of like getting through the quarterfinals and semi-finals of the Champions League, I, I guess that adrenaline must be pretty, pretty good right now. But is it about just managing now the, the positive emotion? Um, because of what you've achieved this I've week? Been, I'm not a little bit in doubt about that part of the mindset of my boys. Not a little bit. They, are, they showed it now. I, I, I really think it would be not fair if I always um, think new about that. It's, um, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. But the boys were like I was after. You, you go to the, to the to the qualify for the finals. Yes. And obviously, um, it was then a really nice thing when, uh, when the crowd was still in the... In the, in the, in the in the stadium. First of all, the boys went there because I had to give 15 interviews, which was not exactly the same. Um, and later I came, yeah, that was so nice as well. But that gave them a real boost and they realized. Before that, it was like being exhausted, done, happy, yes, but, and Chelsea on Sunday, and then this little holiday, mind holiday, that was really, that was really cool and um, so well deserved for both the crowd and the boys, and uh, that was really nice. But I'm not in doubt. It's, it's uh, yes, it's positive. It's a positive situation, but still work to do. So we didn't lose the last 12 games and have to go now to Chelsea and win the next one. It's really we we are in a good moment, intense but good, and that's what we have to use. Jürgen, uh, the Champions League games uh, have been particularly intensive uh, over the past month or so against Man City uh, and Roma. There was a bit of a, a knock-on effect, perhaps, after the first leg against Roma. It was a bit flat against Stoke. Is that a concern for Sunday, given the importance of the Chelsea game? Not sure if it's a concern, but it's a, it's a, it's a fact. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we could go through. Yeah, maybe it's not easy to 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 meet a lot of games in the moment in the, in the Premier League. They pretty much play for nothing anymore. I don't know. Maybe who's safe and. Everton, Newcastle, Leicester, I'm not sure, maybe one or two more. All the rest is fighting for everything. Um, and we had two teams, obviously, with West Brom. They were happy with a draw. That um, was the situation. That's what they, okay, maybe not in the last few minutes, but before that, they were happy with that. And um, Same for Stoke. Um, one week later, sometimes you need to have a little bit of luck. So there was no no, no, no chance to change their approach, obviously, because as long as nil nil, nothing really changed, and that's the thing. And it's intense, of course. And so you, it's it's how it is. We have to play um, these teams in in the moment when the schedule gives it to us, and, and that's what we did. But yes, you're right. The, we had yeah Everton, which is a derby, so it's obviously not. Um, it, will, it will be always intense. So how I thought a really good game, but just a point, and the same with West Brom and the same with Stoke now. So it's not exactly what we wanted and uh, was a little bit unlucky in a few moments, but um, that's the result we got and so now we have to build on that. Um, but Chelsea is a different game, eh? so it will be a different game um, and we have to be ready for that completely different challenge to Everton, Stoke and West Brom and hopefully we are. Everybody's played their part, or everybody in the squad has played a big part in getting you to where you are Absolutely. this season. Uh, how impressed, though, have you been w with Jordan Henderson recently, the, the, the big Champions League games in particular, where he's been almost the driving force that brings the energy, brings the ball out, you know, the, the first point to get it from the defenders and, and winning the ball in midfield. He's, he's played a huge role for you. Yeah, absolutely. I also have a doubt about that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Hendo and Millie, especially um, experienced, more experienced than a lot of the other players, either long in the club or long in the league and stuff like that. So bring in a lot of absolutely fantastic job of both on and off the pitch, really, I uh, have to say. So, but you cannot be where we are if, the, if, the, if these, posi in these positions you have players who hide or whatever. It's not possible. So they, they, they showed up because they have the quality to it. To do so, and, and again, physically the quality, football-wise the quality, and the mindset for it. So they are really in, in, in a good moment. Hopefully, it stays like this because it's very important for us when they played the most of the games. Uh, because in midfield we are really quite thin, and um, that's that's the situation. But they, they did 
fantastic job. But I'm not surprised. So that's exactly what I expected, to be honest. Um, and we are where we are because uh, not only, but yeah, a big part because of the performance of these boys. Hey, you spoke about the intense game you've been playing, and obviously there's a physical recovery aspect to that. But is there also an emotional recovery needed because there's such a high on Wednesday qualifying for the Champions League final? Is it? We did that at, uh, in um, in Rome and on the fly back. Uh, you have to use uh, the little gaps you have, and that's what we did. And when we, we came here, and the boys went home, could have hopefully a proper sleep. And today we we, we meet again. We we trained and we made a recovery at Rome and uh, and the training as well. That too gave us the opportunity to do. That was really nice, and um, so um, yesterday was the recovery day, and today we prepare Chelsea. That's that's how it is, and um, it's not a question. If you if you are recovered, we have to be recovered. So that's how it is, and um, we will we will be. Chelsea is it's a good game. It's a really good game because it's a, in each situation of the season. If you, when you go to Chelsea, it's clear it will be. A really intense game. But it's always very important. You get points at Chelsea. It's always a sign for a season, stuff like that. So um, that's that's clear. Um, but how is that? We, we can't. We don't ask these questions. Oh, how do you feel now after that? That's that's all the process we are in. That's all the process that we really have to do. So that and then that and then that and then that. Always in the right moment, being at 100%. We have time between the games to, to switch off. The boys have time to switch off and, and it's only important that we switch on in the right moment as well and then and everything can be fine. On that front end, team news wise and how are you looking squad wise and be coming back or? as far as I know nothing else happened so that uh, would be really um, cool. We're all all still fit. And how's that? Um, Adam trained now um, the first real football session at Rome in the morning after the game. How <laughs> Adam is look good, eh? Oh, that's um, that's okay. I have no idea if um, if we will use that or not. It would be. I have to think about. I don't know, um, but that's good. And um, was in contact with Emery as well. Um, it's important. Day is Monday, um, next Monday, and then we can make the decision if he starts training with us or, or not immediately. But only would be good news for the final, and probably not for the the last game of the season. So, who else? Who? Joe. Um, Joe is. Um, we still um, wait for final assessment stuff like that that we really figure out. Um, what it is exactly when we'll, um, we'll know about that in a few days, probably. But it's not uh, available for Chelsea. Yes, for German Focus magazine. Is the upcoming Champions League final the most important match in your career as a manager? To be honest, I, 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 have, um, I feel always <laughs> I would love to change that, but the most important game in my career so far is the Chelsea game on Sunday. <laughs> so that's how it is. And um, and then Brighton probably could be very important as well. So um, I don't think uh, like this. It's, yeah, we, we will, it's, it will be a very important one for sure. Very important one. But we had a few important ones already and they were not only here. I had it with Dortmund. I had very important games with Mainz and they all have their own very important moment, and um, a few of them we could win, a few of them we couldn't win. That's how life is. But um, yeah, yeah, we will we will give the the game the right size in the moment when we when we play it. No, no doubt about that. Hi. Uh, you've been in European finals twice. <laughs> Sorry to ask no, 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 no problem. Uh, just, just to ask you if the preparation changes about yourself in the meaning of balance and dealing of your side that is looking forward to this game and what you can bring for those experiences to this one. I'm really not in a, in a Champions League final mood, obviously, um, but. Um, I will, I will have a look what I did in the years before and will change everything. 